Hey guys, I know that lately I was not that active on YouTube. I'm sorry about it. The reason is Zoar Crazy. They released insane amount of new features to their CRM and books and projects. If I want to be the authority in Zo, I need to know what I'm talking about. So I had to learn six hours every day, except of being a father and also uh, work. So uh, that's why I was, uh, I was off. And I'm also creating a Zo campaigns course. So lots of to do. So right now I am with you and I will do my best to give you value here. So Zo released tons of new functionality. I learned it and now I need to transfer my knowledge to you so you can take advantage of all those great things that, that they added. Today we are going to answer a big business problem. What happens when you're sending an email to a lead and the lead is not responding to you? Zo came up with a beautiful solution. They created a specific workflow that is working based on the emails module. And that's something new. It wasn't here before. So whenever I'm sending an email and the lead is not responding to my email in three days, I want to get a notification. Perfect. Now, today we are also going to work on the calls. The calls module is also being added to the workflows. So you can do very, very nice things using those workflows. In the future lessons, in the future, not right now, I will talk to you about the new features that Zo added to their system. Now, you will not have it in your CRM, but if you want access to them, let me know and I will help you get early access to those features. We are going to talk about the wizards, about the pipeline, about um, a review process, which is totally insane, command center. We have lots of stuff. There are more features that I can show you that Zoho added. Now, I can also tell you that if you are from the home services industry and you are based on booking appointments, Zoho added right now in a beta version the ability to book appointments for those kind of businesses, which means you can book appointments to your technicians in the field. Amazing. So I am going to start today with one thing, and that will be with the workflow rules. So what I want to show you right now is a workflow that you can set by yourself. And that's in case that I am sending an email to a lead and he is not responding in three days, I want to get a notification so I can follow up with it. One important thing before we dive into the workflow, if you like this video or if it will give you value, please spoil me with a nice thumbs up. It's good for the Google algorithm and more people can be exposed to this video. Let's dive in, okay? So let's go to create a rule. Let's select your emails. Now that will be something new that you don't have in your system yet. Now, let's click here on rule name and that will be next. Now I have here the, the criteria. So I want to send the notification to outgoing emails, which means emails that I sent and they were unreplied. So if the email was not replied in three days, this is when I am going to get a notification. Now, as you can see here, you have lots of different uh, options. If it was bounced, if it was opened, if it was clicked. So if it was clicked, obviously, you know that there is an interest. So maybe here, in this case, you want to have a different workflow to contact the lead, maybe give him a call. Okay, so you have your different options to work with your lead. So I will choose unreplied and I will click on next. And now here you have a criteria that you can set conditions on which emails this workflow will work or which leads. In my case, I want it to work on all the leads and I don't care about any criteria. Now, if you do the options here are every field that you have in your email, you can set this specific automation for specific subjects. Maybe you have an automation with a specific subject and you want those emails to be related to a specific subject. Maybe if the sender is a specific employee in your company. So you can set all those uh, rules in place. 
And here you can have, as an example, if you have a specific lead. In my case, I do want to have here a criteria. I don't want to be notified for all the emails. I want only emails that I'm already in contact with, which means the lead status will be contacted. So if the lead status is contacted and it was not replied in three days, then I want to get a notification. In the instant actions, I will click here and I will notify via click because I don't want to send an email click. It's very quick and uh, I don't need to spend too much time on it. So I click on via click and I will write here. Uh, let's have here the first name of the lead and the last name of the lead did not respond to my email in three days and it will notify a specific user which is myself i'm saving it and now it's done now this notification will come to me on an answered email for a lead that i'm in contact with and of course you can do it for contacts and you can do it for other other modules in the system brilliant if you think about it, sometimes in your business, you're getting missed calls. Those missed calls, it's probably people that want to get a hold of you, unless it's not spam, right? So if those people want to get a hold of you and you're not answering them, probably you want this information to be logged somewhere. And this is exactly what we're going to do here. I will click on the create rule. I will go here to calls, which Again, it's a new functionality and I will have here the name answered call. And I have here the different uh, when and that will be for a missed call. So when there is a missed call, this workflow will take place. It will be done for all the modules. I don't care if it's a lead contact account, it will always happen. And I will create here a task. And the task will be answer or call back to an unanswered call. And it will be the same day. And I will save and associate and done. So now every time that there will be an unanswered call to my system, I will get a task for it. So that is what I wanted to show you today. In the future lessons, I will show you about cool stuff that you can do with the new functionality that Zoho are going to release to the public very, very soon.